Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research. Today I'm going to be working on trying to see about stabilizing the push rods to the valves. <clears throat> I've been having some trouble with that. The uh, ring thing that I made, this didn't seem to work out too well, so I'm going to try a different idea. Well, I've been working on the six on earth for a while and I got finally all the lines hooked up. Um, I had trouble with the timing on, on some of this stuff, but I think I got it pretty well now, I hope. Like I say, I've still got work to do. Well, today I'm back in one of my destructive moods. I was just no way in the world going to be satisfied with the way that last uh, video was with those long, long valve stems and no support. Even when I put the supports on there, though, it's still. It just was not right. So, I went back to the drawing board and I came up with another idea. So I went back to using the ring and I've got short stems that I remade to, to fit into the things rather than using these long stems. So now it runs like oh how about that? That's a two cylinder, but I didn't think I had it turned on, <laughs> but I did. Anyway, it runs much better now with with these types of stems. 175, see what that looks like. Ah, I think that's a little better. Yeah. Now I got two of them done. So I got to fix four more. Well, for now, I guess I'll just go ahead and start making some of the other other ones. Then I'll show you after I get all six of them in how it's running. Today I finally have all six of the valves mounted and I've checked them for leaks and everything is okay. I don't think I'm going to leave these little plastic lines on there though. I did that mainly so that I can work on it with, without taking copper lines and fittings and stuff loose. These can be just pushed in and pulled out to change things. Uh, and right now, I don't have any leaks that I could hear. And it starts easily every time you turn it on, no matter in what position it's in. And it runs very quiet, really. on 100 PSI, not even that, 75. So it'll probably be run around 200 PSI, I would assume. So I'll put it on 150 just to start with. check later and see what kind of RPMs it's doing, but not that bad. Let's be 200. I think it runs
runs pretty fair. Okay. So now I've got all six cylinders hooked up. These funny pipes right here are just temporary to show you how it's going to work. This is the main line air coming in. Comes in here. This thing here is just an adapter for these two pipes. This one goes to two, three, four, and six. Two, three, four, and six. This one goes from one over to four. So those two cylinders are hooked together. And this one, this one, and those two over there are hooked together. And then all six of them, if you're in this position. This position is just four. That's six and two. Back to six, down to four. So depending on what we're doing, you might want to run it on two. If it's going down a slope, you might run it on six going up a hill, and four maybe on flat ground if it will do it. Or back to six if you have to.